Hi everyone, it's Kimberly from It's Only Homeschooling. Welcome back to my channel and thank you for stopping by. Here at It's Only Homeschooling, you'll find all sorts of resources to help you homeschool your child with learning differences. If you've never been here before, thank you so much for stopping by. I am a licensed professional counselor and a former middle school guidance counselor turned homeschool mom of one. Here on my channel, we have celebrated so many major milestones lately. First of all, I would like to say a big thank you. We surpassed 100 subscribers, and I'm hoping that there will be more, so thank you so much for watching. We have, uh, we're also celebrating, recently celebrated, our first birthday for our It's Only Homeschooling podcast series. We have had a lot of big developments with that podcast over the year, including expanding to not one, but two shows. Our first show our first show, The Salt and Light Serve Spotlight, focuses on outreach, service, and volunteerism, and shining a light on all of those who are being the hands and feet of Christ and doing their best to make their communities a better place through outreach, service, and volunteerism. We have interviewed so many guests and, and met so many wonderful people over the past year, and I continue to be grateful for the guests that come on and for the viewers who watch and are inspired to make a difference in their community. We also started a second podcast over the summer, Shelf Indulgence Book Chats. In this series, I interview homeschool moms who also happen to be authors and I garner some wisdom and learn some tips and some tricks from this extended homeschool mom village that I am so thankful for so that I can bring the reviews of their books and their tips and their tricks to you to put in your homeschool and put to good use. So what is in store for the channel coming up this fall? Well, we are going to have even more exciting podcast guests. Coming up next month in October, we are going to be chatting with Melanie Brown, podcaster and author of an amazing, amazing series. I don't even want to just call it a devotional because her books are bigger than that first book. It's, it's called her Journey On series, and it's a very interactive, in-depth look where she does take you on a journey of introspection and having you look at yourself and grow in your faith and challenge you to do the hard things and do the hard work so that you have your own victory when you come out the other side. Please don't forget to tune into those podcasts. Uh, in fact, we believe Melanie's work is so impactful. We have decided to feature her on both of our podcasts for October. She is going to, we're going to talk about both of her books and her journey on series for our shelf indulgence book chats. And then we're also going to have her on again for the Salt and Light Serve Spotlight to talk about her wonderful podcast series that I believe is now celebrating its sixth year um, called Challenges Won't Stop Me. Melanie is doing everything within her heart to advance the kingdom of God and uplift all of those around her by sharing their stories of triumph and overcoming struggles. You don't want to miss it. Coming up in November, I'm also going to go, be going back to my home base, if you will, into the world of mental health, where I'm going to be chatting with Dr. Rhonda Johnson. She is the author of the Pace Setter book, talking about the importance of leadership and advancing proper culture. And, and she wrote it in terms of her private practice, but in truth, um, it can the principles that are from this book can apply to any place where you're going to lead, whether it is in your home, whether it is in your church group, whether it is in your business. But it talks about the importance of learning where you've come from and making leadership your own. Again, another interview you do not want to miss. Dr. Johnson's work has been so impactful that we are also going to feature her not only on the Shelf Indulgence Book Chats, because she's also a working homeschool mom, but we are going to feature her on the Salt and Light Serve Spotlight podcast for the month of November where we celebrate adoption national adoption awareness month and we are also going to chat about all of the wonderful work that she has done in her private practice the Center for Counseling and Family Relationships you don't want to miss that interview either so what else is in store for my channel? Well, there's a couple of exciting things I've got coming out. I am working on some more freebies. We are big 
homeschooling YouTubers in this house. We believe in YouTube schooling, but we don't do it without care. We, If you want to ensure how that you can safely use, home, um, use YouTube in your homeschool, I'll put a link in the description box below to some of my blog posts that I've created and also to a, a link to my It's Only Homeschooling's Got a Minute series where I talk about how you can make homeschooling your friend and not your foe. Our Got a Minute series is our one minute nuggets of knowledge, little bitty snippets of information on a variety of different topics. But I'll put a link to that in the description box below and a card up here so you can find that video. But as part of YouTube schooling in our home, I'm sharing with you some playlists that I have created and used in my homeschool over the years, particularly in response to um, when I used Story of the World initially. I'll put some cards up here. Um, in the first couple of years as history, I've used some curriculum mashups, which mashups are just more of a form of integrative learning. I'll put a card up here to explain what that is, um, where we you take bits of one curriculum or bits of another and you kind of combine them together to make it work for you. But I will share with you the playlist that I have created where a lot of times when my son would follow through the story of the world so that he could really see what it was like back in history times back then. He's very much a visual learner and we do love movie schooling and YouTube schooling in this house. I would make playlists vetted through all of them. I've watched through every single one of these videos where each week, whatever chapter we were working on, I would incorporate um, not only a little bit of snippets of videos that I found, but I would also mash up in with that songs from classical conversations. While we never attended uh, classical conversations as a family, I do find a lot of the resources and the memory work and the materials to be incredibly useful. So tacking on those songs and with whatever chapter, combining them that we were doing with the story of the world that week, made it incredibly helpful for him to remember the concept. History is something that you're gonna go through multiple times in your life, but it certainly doesn't hurt to have those pegs there to hang that knowledge on. I don't know about you, but I can remember double mint commercials from my childhood sometimes better than why I walked into the pantry this morning. Anywho, I have found it to be an incredibly useful learning tool and I would like to share that with my viewers. Other things that we've got coming up on the channel this fall, I'm going to be creating some more vlog posts. Coming up, I'm going to share with you what I have learned over the years with my son through the past seven years of occupational and physical therapy. Our OT and PT crew have been a part of our lives for the past seven years and have been absolutely essential in helping us be successful as homeschoolers. And I have taken away some really wonderful lessons. I am also going to be sharing some more blog posts on advocacy, on living with labels, how you can learn to to live with your child's diagnosis without seeing your child as just the diagnosis. And also talking about some of the evaluation process, if you're curious about that and what it's like when you go through that evaluation process and how you can reach out for support. I am also going to be delving into some of my personal background, professional background actually too, some of it's personal because this does apply to my child, and go through a vlog series that I'm creating talking about the top 10 tips for helping you homeschool your 2E or twice exceptional learner. So be on the lookout for those. And I'm also going to be sharing some tips that can help you teach your child how to handle big feelings. Yes, we're going to be talking about how to help your child learn how to, and you, because I know this applies to me too, parents or mamas, I was just going to say mamas, but let's be honest, it applies to any parent, to help you learn some emotional regulation skills. Part of those emotional regulation skills, I'm going to share with you one of the biggest things that we use in our home. You've probably heard me talk about in several previous videos, the power of the pause. I've touched on it a little bit. I've created a got a minute, nuggets of knowledge, one minute video about it, but I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth and share with you how I implement the power of the pause in my homeschool. But finally, Certainly, it's last, but certainly not least, the biggest thing that I am excited to have come on board for my website, 
this fall, and I will announce it here on YouTube as well, is I am working on a resource list. I was talking with a friend from the Homeschool Legal Defense Association, Natalie Mack. She um, is a military homeschool mom and she does all sorts of wonderful things to help um, homeschoolers with military background connect and navigate and she is working on some great and wonderful things over on her channel as well i'll put a link in the description box below for all of the wonderful things that my friend natalie mack has got going on that i want i have been inspired to create a resource list to post on my website it's onlyhomeschooling.com to help provide you homeschool families with more homeschool friendly providers. I don't know about you, but there's nothing worse than walking into your doctor's office or to any other professional that you might need to see, whether they're counseling, mental health, a physician of any kind, and then kind of giving you the side eye when you mention that you're a homeschooler. I've only had that experience once or twice, and I was pretty quick to change providers. It's impactful. Um, it, at best, it can just be um, annoying. At worst, it can be a little bit scary when you know that you are within your rights to homeschool your child, but that practitioner's not familiar with even what your state says about your rights or not even familiar with your rights as homeschooler. So I thought it might be helpful if I provided an ongoing list that will be ongoing and updated of providers categorized by state and by discipline that are homeschool family friendly. And the four categories that I am looking and recruiting providers to join this resource list are going to be in academic advising to help you, especially homeschool, those, are home, those who are homeschooling high school, to help you get ready for all that you need to make sure that you've got your credits and your transfers in order and maybe navigating the world when you're getting ready to go to college or maybe even other options other than college because college is not for everyone and it is certainly not the only option. I think it's better for us to kind of try to figure that out in high school before you go to college and you spend a bunch of money and tuition that you have to pay back or you can't get back for classes and courses in a degree that you either can't use or that you didn't need to begin with. So the first category is going to be on academic advising. The second one is going to be on counseling and mental health. I'm looking for providers who are homeschool family friendly, who possibly provide virtual sessions and the third category is going to be on um, academic assessment and testing. Um, if you're looking anywhere for benchmark testing um, or if you were looking for um, learning disorder or learning disability diagnosis and also how to help your child if you have those diagnoses, there will be a category for that. And the final category will be for tutoring. So I'm so excited to have those referral resources hopefully up and running within the next couple of months. I have a couple of different um, providers who are already trickling in with their names and with their information who are wanting to participate in this resource list. So, whew, other than that, you will also see other things as they as I pop on with them from time to time, announcements for places that we'll, we'll be serving and other areas where we're supporting other individuals because we certainly do have a servant's heart here in our homeschool. I hope you come back in and check in with us this fall and subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss any of these great, wonderful things that are coming out soon. In the meantime, remember, education is a journey, not a destination. We hope you'll come back and visit with us often until we, until we meet again. Remember, the days are long, the years are short. You don't need to fret. Homeschooling does not have to be hard and you don't have to do it alone. Come be a part of our village. Relax. It's only homeschooling. Have a great day.